In a pivotal moment for the New York Yankees, the team has officially added right-hander Mark Leiter Jr. to their roster for Game 4 of the American League Championship Series, that is ALCS, stepping in for the injured Ian Hamilton. Hamilton suffered a left calf strain while covering first base during a tense sixth inning in the Yankees' recent 7-5, 10-inning loss to the Cleveland Guardians in Game 3. The injury was confirmed by Dr. Gary Green, MLB's medical director, who reviewed the medical details and allowed the roster substitution. Unfortunately, this means Hamilton will be ineligible to return for the World Series if the Yankees manage to advance. Leiter Jr., who was acquired from the Chicago Cubs on July 30th, has had a rocky season thus far. Despite posting a 2-1 record and a 4.98 ERA in 21 appearances for the Yankees, he had been left off the roster for the AL Division Series against the Kansas City Royals. Overall, this season he carries a 4.50 ERA across 60 appearances. Yet Yankees general manager Brian Cashman remains optimistic. Hopefully, when called upon, he'll give us quality outs, Cashman said. He's had a hell of a year, just not as good when he got here for us. But he's certainly capable. He's a pretty good weapon against left-handed hitters. With the Yankees' bullpen stretched thin after a demanding Game 3, the pressure is mounting on Leiter to deliver. The absence of Hamilton, who posted a solid 3.82 ERA across 35 appearances this season, leaves a noticeable gap. Hamilton, known for his reliability when healthy, had not pitched in the majors since June, due to a right lat strain. With the playoffs underway and no scheduled off days, the Yankees will rely heavily on Leiter to provide some much-needed innings in this crucial series. Cashman emphasized the importance of selecting Leiter over other options, like Clayton Beater and Cody Poteet, citing Leiter's historical success against left-handed hitters which aligns well with Cleveland's roster. He also noted that Nestor Cortez, who was working through a left elbow flexor strain, would not be a viable replacement for Hamilton due to safety concerns and protocol requirements. Cortez is hopeful for a return in the World Series, should the Yankees make it that far. As the team navigates these challenges, they are hopeful that Leiter can replicate the form he displayed earlier in the season, particularly his stellar June performance, which included a 0.93 ERA and 16 strikeouts over 9.2 innings. The Yankees need him to step up, especially with key pitchers feeling overworked after a taxing ALCS. As they gear up for Game 4, all eyes will be on Leiter Jr., to see if he can help steer the Yankees towards a critical victory in their quest for another championship. The pressure is high, but the stakes are even higher, and this is where players are made. Stay subscribed for more videos.